Hi everyone, Vincent Thiel from HTTV Test here. I'm a display reviewer and professional calibrator. Last year, when I reviewed the Xiaomi Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector, I pointed out a number of issues that made it unsuitable for critical viewing. Despite these issues, the projector and its WiMAX 1 Pro cousin still sold like hotcakes, presumably because of the comparatively cheap price of below £2,000. Essentially, one-tenth the price of an ultra short throw laser projector from Sony. Today, we're taking a look at the successor, which is this Xiaomi Mi Jia 4K laser projector here. Note that I am pronouncing Xiaomi Mi Jia in the correct Chinese pronunciation, not because I know Chinese, but because it's the right thing to do. Here's a little anecdote. I was in Shenzhen visiting TCL's TV factory recently, and one night at dinner, a starving TCL executive, he's European by the way, wanted more rice, when in China and all that. But no one on our table spoke Chinese except me. So using my linguistic skills, I managed to order him a big bowl of fragrant, freshly fried fried rice. And as this TCL executive gobbled down the rice, he kept saying to me, Vincent, you are amazing. Vincent, you are amazing and it took me all my restraint to not look him in the eye and go, that's what she said. Anyway, back to the Xiaomi Mi Jia projector. The key upgrade is 4K resolution. While last year's Xiaomi and WiMAX projectors can accept 4K video signal, the output resolution is only 1080p. This Xiaomi Mi Jia 4K laser projector can output 4K resolution using mirror flashing techniques through an updated DMD chip from Texas Instruments. The design is very similar to Xiaomi's older ultra short throw laser projector, although it now carries a tasteful gunmetal grey finish. There are three HDMI 2.0b inputs with HDCP 2.2 compliance, verified using a Muridio 6G signal generator, but from our testing, HDMI handshaking can be a bit flaky, especially if you use longer cable runs, so make sure you use a HDMI Premium Certified Cable under 3 meters for a stable video connection. Like the WiMAX 1 Pro, our Xiaomi 4K laser projector review sample emitted a high-pitched coil whine alongside the fan noise. Because the projector is placed closer to the screen and further than where we normally sit compared with traditional projectors, this is easily masked by normal speaker volume. But please be aware that whether the coil whine will bother you depend on unit-to-unit -unit variation and your individual sensitivity to high-frequency noise. By the way, the projector is equipped with inbuilt front-firing speakers, which delivers serviceable sound, but you really should invest in a soundbar or an external home theater system to complement your big-screen viewing experience. My review unit came with a power cable for use in China so I just used my own travel adapter plug. But you can also buy your own UK or US power lead with C5 Cloverleaf connector N. Before I proceed to talk about picture quality, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Chinese retailer Gearbest.com who sent me this projector for review. Without the help of Gearbest, you wouldn't be watching this video review. So if you are thinking about buying this projector, Please support them by considering purchasing from the link in the YouTube description below. Thanks again for your support. Right. Thanks to the combination of laser light source and ultra short throw form factor, the Xiaomi Mi Jia 4K laser projector puts out impressively punchy contrast, beating any conventional 4K DLP projector at this price point. Because the projector uses the latest 0.47-inch DMD chipset from Texas Instruments, it doesn't have the chunky grey border that affected the first generation of 4K DLP projectors. Only a very thin one which totally didn't bother us in real-life viewing. In terms of calibration controls, the projector offers only a single-point white balance adjustment which is accessible by setting colors to custom. Surprisingly, this worked very effectively to align the grayscale to the industry standard of D65 white point, allowing colors including skin tones to look more natural than out of the box. If you purchase this projector using our link in the YouTube description below, 
we will email you the calibrated settings we have arrived at on our review sample. As you can see in the shot from Skyfall, before calibration, Daniel Craig's face looked pale and pasty, and the entire image appeared washed out. But after calibration, his skin tones looked healthier and more realistic, with greater depth to the picture. Remember, you need to specifically click on our link in the YouTube description below just before you buy the projector from GearBest.com. Otherwise, your order won't show up in our backend, and if we can't verify your order, we cannot send you the calibrated settings as per our agreement with GearBest. Many thanks for your understanding. Okay, continuing our discussion about picture affecting settings, there's no gamma control on the Xiaomi Mi Tia 4K laser projector, so gamma is fixed at 2.0 out of the box and 2.2 after calibration, which gives a bright punchy picture. Although, true video enthusiasts would have preferred the ability to switch to 2.4 gamma for viewing in a bad cave. There's no motion interpolation on board, so motion resolution, as determined in this horizontally scrolling test pattern, could not be increased beyond the sample and hole baseline of 300 lines. The projector's refresh rate is locked to 60Hz in non-3D mode, so slow panning shots in 24 frames per second movies, where showing the scene from Wall-E, would exhibit telltale telecynic judder. Furthermore, in 50Hz broadcast content, such as those we get in the UK and Europe, or any PAL regions, there would be noticeable judder due to frame rate mismatch, for example, the scrolling news ticker on Sky News. In 60Hz countries such as the USA or Canada, this wouldn't be a problem since 60Hz content is matched to 60Hz refresh rate. Next, video processing. Upscaling is done cleanly on this SMPTE RP133 test card in 576i, with very little overshoot or ringing, although raising the sharpness setting would swiftly add some thick halos to high contrast edges. Just like previous Xiaomi projectors, the Mi Jia 4K laser projector applied forced noise reduction to all non-4K content except in monitor mode. Here, we are displaying our own custom ordered 1080p test pattern containing scrolling text overlaid on finely textured film grain. And you can see that the projector is smudging the film grain in almost every picture mode, but once you switch to monitor mode, the noise reduction processing is disabled, allowing for proper reproduction of film grain. However, once you start adjusting the settings in monitor mode, it will then populate the user mode, which will apply the forced noise reduction again. Fortunately, the forced noise reduction is deactivated with 4K input signal, as you can see here when we asked our OPPO 203 player to upscale to 4K first, the film grain remained intact. So if you want to see the cleanest picture on your projector without any smearing or blurring that's caused by noise reduction, let your receiver or 4K Blu-ray player do the upscaling to 4K resolution before sending the video signal to the projector. As you may know from my previous videos, HDR is very challenging even on the best projectors due to projectors' limited light output compared with direct view displays. Now, the Xiaomi Mi Jia could have delivered outstanding HDR by projector standards, courtesy of its punchy contrast, but it's not meant to be due to a number of problems. First, the picture settings are shared across HDR and SDR. Two, as you can see from this white clipping test pattern from the excellent Ryan Masiola test disk, the Xiaomi Mi Jia 4K laser projector clips at around 1000 nits, so bright specular highlight details that are mastered up to 4000 nits, such as details in the sun, clouds, and bubbles in the scene from pan, will be blown out and missing. Three, Custom colors in the only adjustable user picture mode introduced even more clipping and some color shifts. So when watching HDR, you should switch to another recommended picture mode to obtain better results. DCI-P3 color gamut coverage came in at a paltry 82%, so don't expect to see any white color gamut benefits. For gaming, the lowest input lag was obtained in monitor picture mode, and it still measured more than 90 milliseconds in both 1080p SDR and 4K HDR modes. In other words, 
the Xiaomi Media Projector is simply too sluggish for any self-respecting gamers who's into reflex-based games such as first-person shooters or racing games. Last but not least, 3D. For some reason, after the latest firmware update, the 3D option has disappeared from the regular user menu, but luckily you can still access it by long pressing the quick menu button on your remote control. Let me explain some of this literal translation from Chinese. Move left to right is side-by-side -side 3D. Move up or down is top and bottom 3D. And fit to frame is frame-packed 3D. As you might have guessed by now, 3D needs to be enabled manually on the projector. And after doing so, the screen will go blank for a while for the color wheels to be repositioned. Our review sample unfortunately exhibited severe color space conversion error as you can see from our own custom altered 3D resolution test pattern here showing color tinting that shouldn't be present. We tried switching to RGB, lower bit depth, different resolution and frame rate, but to no avail. It may just be a problem on our review unit, so if you have a Xiaomi Media 4K laser projector with properly working 3D, feel free to leave a comment in the YouTube section below to let everyone know. Beyond the color space conversion error, the projector resolved full HD 3D resolution according to our 3D resolution test pattern and amazingly rendered 24 frames per second 3D movies smoothly without telecinic judder. Presumably, the projector is refreshing at 48Hz, which begs the question why the same cannot be done in 2D. Anyway, let's wrap up this video. The Xiaomi Mi Jia 4K laser projector suffers from many of the same issues as its predecessors. And again, I emphasize, if you are a video enthusiast who enjoy watching accurate picture in a pitch black room, then this is not the projector for you. But if you have watched this video this far, you may be tempted by several unique strengths of the Xiaomi Media projector, especially given its relatively low price. One, it's got a laser light engine which is more stable color-wise and provides a longer lifespan than lamp-based projectors plus it's quicker to power up and shut down. 2. Its ultra short throw design means that you only need a small amount of space to cast an image, and you don't need to worry about objects coming between the projector and the screen causing a shadow. 3. The Apple-like remote and responsive Mi TV Android UI make day-to-day -day use a joy rather than a chore. Compared with previous 1080p projectors from Xiaomi, there's a noticeable uptick in resolution and sharpness, and contrast is slightly punchier too. As mentioned earlier, if you buy this Xiaomi Mi Jia 4K laser projector from the link in the YouTube description below, we'll send you the calibrated settings on our review unit. It won't be as good as getting your projector calibrated in person, primarily because of screen variability, but at least it'll be better than factory settings. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.